What's up everybody? Just wanted to show you my config file for my Claymore Miner that's running on just one GPU even though I have four GPUs on my rig. The other three NVIDIAs are mining with this nice hash miner in the background and the AMD one is mining with Claymore's miner. It's on Ethereum at the moment. So this is my config file. Just wanted to make that to show you. So of course the, let's see if I can get that focused a little better. There we go. The, uh, the first part of that is the actual executable file name of the program, which is, it's Claymore's Miner, but this is the specific name of the executable file, or exe. Um, the next is the dash e pool, and that's the name of the pool that I'm mining on. It's on ethermine.org. If you need that port name right here, you can find this, um, you know, depending on the country you're in, on ethermine.org. Just go there and it should be on the home page. And then dash e wall, that's the wallet dot, so this is my Ethereum wallet dot, the, uh, that's what I named my rig. Um, and then after this, it is dash mode one, which tells it it's Ethereum only mining, so it's not actually mining, um, you know, see a coin or whatever else they have you mine on the side. Sometimes different miners do different things, but dash mode one just tells it to only mine Ethereum, which is what I want at the moment and then dash di space zero tells it to only mine on device zero. So it's only mining Ethereum on my AMD GPU. Um, you can play around with it depending on, I mean, the, the number um, at the end of that, the, uh, because your GPU may be a different number, I'm not sure. And then of course, just watch it as it starts mining. It'll tell you what GPU it's mining it on, uh, if it's AMD or Nvidia or whatever. And uh, yeah, I do apologize. In previous videos, I've said it was just dash D. And I remembered I am wrong about that. Um, that's actually just for some other different mining software, but for Claymores, it's just, it's dash DI. And that tells it the device to mine on. So that's the whole config file, at least how I have it set up. Um, I'm not a huge fan of overclocking just because I'd rather my GPUs last longer than make me more money up front. So. If you have any comments about that let me know down below and uh, if you have any questions I'd be happy to get back to you as quick as I can just let me know and hit that like button if this video helped you out at all and uh, make sure you subscribe for future videos we'll see you in the next one